it always seems that I take these fun rides with my my dad, my brother. Uh, there's a motorcycle group my dad's in, and we just go to random places. Some are really interesting. They're just far off interesting places that are either historical or just uh, unique. Basically, tourist attractions that are close by, and they take scenic routes. All right, today is September 6th, Labor Day, 2010. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on a uh, road trip with my dad and his friend on uh, motorcycles over to West Virginia to see a tractor graveyard. And it looks like quite an amazing day outside. It is low humidity, blue skies, hardly a cloud in sight. Should be an awesome day. And Roy is already here. We were supposed to meet at 10 o'clock over at the McDonald's, but it is 9.30. He is early, isn't he, Wolfman? He is early. Here's my bike. Just recently put foot pegs on it so I can stretch up my long legs. There's Roy's bike. He has a on the gold wing. And then the 1300 Yamaha. Big bike. Smokers! Smokers! Alright, we're settling up. Getting ready to go. Unfortunately, in my haste, I didn't quite get the footage I wanted to get to make this video. Turns out, it's a lot harder to carry a camera on a motorcycle and get footage and still drive. So I got a lot of shots underneath my armpit and, and of, the, of the gas tank and hardly any of of me driving and or, or the scenery which is another good part of riding which I was hoping to show but hopefully I will remedy that with the next video that I make because I got this Ram mounts made in the USA sexy distinctive hourglass shape Ram double socket arms with their distinctive hourglass shape and designed and recognized to provide the best possible performance for most any mounting application. Just ram it. So I got this mounts. I tried it out already. I got some uh, some footage with it and uh, it wasn't quite West Virginia mountain footage uh, or beautiful scenery as such. Um, but you get an idea of uh, the motorcycle or being on a motorcycle. I'm going to cheat a little bit and cut it in just because I went out and got the footage, but uh, it's not going to be quite the footage that I wanted to show you for this trip. But uh, here's my video anyhow. <laughs> They got they got shakes, cones, sodas, sundays, foot long hot dogs. And a cow on the roof. And a cow on the roof. They had a lot of things to see, check out. They had a trout hatchery 
couple other animals to see. Oh look, it's a trout. Trout and a chain link fix, fence to keep out raccoons from getting the trout. How about that? So, Cool Springs is located off of Route 50 in Preston County, West Virginia. Uh, the park sits about one half mile west of Route 72 and Route 50 intersection. Uh, the trip on Route 72 runs from Parsons through Rawlingsburg, or Rawlsburg, however you pronounce that, and into Kingwood. A drive along 72 runs along the Cheat River. And again, I, I really wish I could have gotten some good shots of that, but it's a it's a fun drive. I don't think that crank will crank anymore. Mm. <laughs> Case International, how about that? Oh, and they have more than one caboose. They got several in case you need a new caboose. More gnarly tires. So we paid our respects to the rusty old tractors. It's a donkey. No burrow. Hello, little burrow. <laughs> Got to see two donkeys uh, by the name of Princess and Bambi. We got to see a suppose this this three wheeled vehicle called a stallion, which was kind of neat. Uh, supposedly it's made by Ford. Oh, I've never seen one, so That's I decided nice. to get some sh shots of it. With a steering wheel and everything. Yep, there, air, air conditioning. That's neat. What is it? Yep. It's automatic. The stallion. It's automatic. It air has air conditioning. Has air conditioning. Has, has air conditioning. Ford Motor Company. And it also has a steering wheel. Uh, it's got parts How about that? There. Beautiful thing. It's a steering wheel. So that was our trip. I didn't get much footage coming back because by the time we were coming back, it, it got dark on us. I didn't get back till 9.30 to Frederick. We did have one mishap on the way back. Uh, we were going through a little town in West Virginia and supposedly it was having some sort of railroad days. We came to an intersection, we made a left, and as we're making a left, there's a cop off to the right. And I'm thinking, oh, we're not going all that fast. Roy passed him, Dad passed him, and when I passed him, he pulled out behind me. So I pull over, Dad pulls over, and the cop goes on by. He didn't go by Roy. But luckily enough, he let us off with a warning. Lesson learned, if you're going through some towns in West Virginia that only looks like there's two houses and they might have a banner out, it's probably a town. And there's the speed limit through there is probably 25 and not well marked. So you might want to decrease your speed or else get a ticket in another state. So thank you for watching my video. If you are a motorist and share the road with motorcycles, or if you're a motorcyclist, please be careful out there. I can't stress enough. Just drive safely no matter what you drive. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Joe, and this has been my Motorcycle Diary.